Creatine is one of the most powerful brain-enhancing compounds we know of, and almost nobody is using it for that. In this video, I'll show you exactly why your brain runs better with creatine, how it affects mood, memory, and mental clarity, why it's completely safe, even long-term, how to take it right with no fluff. And no, you don't need to be an athlete for benefit. This video is for anyone who wants a sharper, healthier brain with the side effect of stronger performance. Watch this video till the end, because I'll share the exact dose for mental benefits, which is different from what you see on supplement labels. Creatine is not a stimulant. It's not an atropic. It's cellular fuel, the kind your brain desperately needs. Your neurons, the brain cell that fire thousands of times per second, require a consistent supply of ATP. That's the molecule that powers everything from memory recall to focus and mood regulation. Now here's the catch. ATP isn't stored. It's made on demand and one of the fastest ways your body regenerates it through something called phosphocreatine, a system that depends entirely on creatine levels in your brain. When your brain runs low on creatine, mental performance suffers. When it's topped up, everything runs smoother. Faster mental processing, better memory and word recall, improved focus under stress, greater resilience to fatigue. In fact, one study showed that vegetarians who took creatine for just five days improved working memory and intelligence scores significantly. Why? Because plant-based diets contain no creatine at all. Even meat eaters may not be getting enough. We'll talk about that shortly. If you're finding this surprising so far, give this video a like, so more people realize creatine isn't just a gym supplement. Let me ask you something. Do you ever feel mentally exhausted by mid-afternoon, even without physical work? Do you struggle to focus for more than 10-15 minutes without distraction? Do you feel like your thoughts are slower than they used to be? That's not just stress. That's neurological fatigue. And creatine plays a direct role. Well, I can't be tired at 1 in the morning? Your brain uses up to 20% of your body's energy even though it's just 2% of your weight. If ATP supply can't keep up with demand, which often happens under stress, sleep deprivation or high information load, your brain loses sharpness. Here's what research shows. Creatine can prevent mental fatigue during demanding tasks. It improves reaction time and cognitive performance under pressure. In people with depression, creatine has shown positive effects on mood and motivation. Because the brain's energy system directly tied to neurotransmitter production, dopamine, serotonin, GABA, all rely on ATP to function. So if you're feeling drained, foggy or irritable, creatine might be the missing link. And this chapter was made with the world-renowned sleep expert. Let's touch on something that often gets uh, overlooked. Creating role in emotional balance and sleep regulation. You go ahead, go to sleep. I'll... It's not just about focus and performance. Your brain uses ATP even during sleep to manage neurotransmitter levels, clean up toxins and consolidate memories. When ATP is low, you may experience lighter, more restless sleep, slower mental recovery overnight, mood swings or increased irritability during the day. Reduce symptoms of depression by improving energy metabolism in uh, brain regions linked to mood. Stabilize emotion, especially uh, in people under chronic stress. Protect against the mental fatigue that builds up after poor sleep. Some even report better dream recall, more stable mood throughout the day and slightly improved sleep depth after the few weeks on creatine. And remember, if your brain is running on low fuel, your emotional regulation take the hit first. Let's clarify dosing. The standard dose you'll uh, see on most supplements labels is 5 grams per day. And for most people, that's enough. It helps saturate your muscles and slowly supports brain function too. But some studies suggest that higher doses, like 10 or even 20 grams daily, 
may increase brain uh, creatine stores more efficiently, uh, especially in people with high cognitive demand, chronic stress or poor sleep. I'm not recommending everyone should jump to 20 grams, but if you're exploring creatine for brain health and you're under professional guidance, it's something worth looking into. My advice, most people can stick with 5 grams per day. If you're experimenting, read the research and consider increasing to 10 grams temporarily. Consistency matters more than exact dose. Want more clear, easy to understand health advice like this? Follow me on Instagram. I post regular tips that helps you make smarter choices without the fluff. We can skip this part. Creatine works uh, for your body just as well as your brain. In the gym, creatine helps you push more reps, recover faster, gain lean muscle, improve power in sprinting, jumping and grappling. It's not magic, but it gives you an edge, especially over time. It also pulls water into your muscles, which give that fuller, tighter look. Even if you're not training hard, creatine helps maintain muscle mass as you age. And that means lower risk of falls, better insulin sensitivity, greater physical independence long term. Let's bust a few myths. Myth number one. Creatine is bad for your kidneys. That's wrong. Creatine slightly increases creatinine, which is a normal waste product but that doesn't equal damage. Multiple long-term studies show no harm to kidney function in healthy people, even at higher doses. Myth number two, creatine causes hair loss, also false. This myth came from a small study showing a mild DHT increase in uh, rugby players, but no actual hair loss occurred. Follow-up research show no consistent hormonal changes from creatine. Myth number three, it causes bloating. Creatine pulls water into your muscles, not under your skin. That's intracellular water, which actually makes you look more defined, not bloated. Bottom line, creatine is one of the researched safest supplements out there. There is no magic timing window for creatine. What matters is taking it consistently. Do it! Just You don't need to take it after you work out. You don't need to combine it with carbs. Just take it daily with water, food or in your shake. What I recommend? Take it at the same time every day so you don't forget. I take mine in the morning with my supplements. Done. Stick to creatine monohydrate. It's the most studied form and it works. Don't fall for overpriced gimmicks. This is the most exciting part for me as a doctor. Creatine isn't just for today's energy. It may help protect your brain for the long haul. How'd that work out for you? It's beautiful. Emerging research show creatine may support brain resilience in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, better outcomes in depression and anxiety, slower cognitive decline in aging adults, possible support in ADHD, fatigue and TBI recovery. Why? Because mitochondrial function is key to brain health and creatine supports mitochondrial ATP production. In other words, more energy at cellular level equals better performance, better repair and better aging. If you care about mental longevity, creatine should be on your radar. Simple answer, no, not necessary. You can take breaks if you want, for example, during travel, rest phrases or budget resets. But there is no evidence that long-term use is harmful or that your body forgets how to make its own. It's not a hormone or a drug. It's an amino acid derived compound that supports natural energy system. That said, if you stop, just know the level slowly return to baseline in a few weeks. While creatine is safe for the vast majority, a few people should talk to their doctor before starting. Those with chronic kidney diseases, people on diuretics or nephrotoxic medication, pregnant or breastfeeding women, uh, lack of long-term safety data. For everyone else, men, women, older adults, teens, 
Creatine is safe when used responsibly. If you're unsure, start with the lower dose, 2 or 3 grams, then work up to 5. Here's the truth. Creatine is cheap, safe and shockingly effective. If you care about your brain, your body, your energy and your mood, this should be part of your routine. You don't need mega doses. You don't need hype or marketing tricks. Just a small daily scoop of real, research-backed fuel. Try 5 grams a day for a few weeks. Check how you feel. Your brain and your body will likely thank you. And if this video will help you understand creatine better, make sure to subscribe to my channel. This kind of content takes time and care. And I'll keep making it if you're here for it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.